small and exquisite. The first time I saw this box, I thought it was a work of art. Actually, it is the new video capture box launched by Magewell, XI100X USB Pro PNP. It can capture almost all types of HD and SD signals, including SDI, DVI, HDMI, VGA, Component, CVBS, and S-Video. Previously, Magewell has launched XI100XUSB Pro, a product with the same appearance and interface. In fact, they are the same in terms of hardware. However, XI100XUSB Pro PNP is the new version with upgraded firmware. It is more powerful in performance and richer in functions. Just as its name indicates, XI100X USB Pro PNP is a driver-free and plug-and-play device. Let me try it on Windows. I run Adobe software. We can see the box is working properly. Next, I will try on Linux. Now I run VideoLAN. I click Open Video Device and choose the Video Capture Device. We can see the Video Capture box is working properly. Now I'm going to test it on Mac OS X. After the installation is finished, I run Wirecast. I click New and choose XI100 XUSB Pro. We can see that the box is capturing video. XI100 XUSB Pro PNP has a USB 3 interface, the theoretical data transmission rate, which is 10 times that of USB 2. As a result, it can capture HD video. However, boxes using USB 2, limited by data transmission rate, can only capture SD video. What actual data transmission rate of XI100 XUSB Pro PNP can reach? Let me test and calculate it. Now, I'm using it to capture a RGB 24-bit video at 1080p 60Hz. I am running Graph Edit and we can see the real-time frame rate it shows is 59.63 FPS. Now I'm going to calculate the bandwidth. 1920 by 1080 by 59.63 by 24 divided by 8. This shows that Magewell All-in-One Video Capture Card is capturing this video at a rate of around 371 megabytes per second. The function description of XI100X USB Pro PNP includes another two functions related to VGA video, which are black border removing and auto phase correction. How well do they work? Let me have a try. I use the capture box to capture the image of a computer. We can see that there is no black border in the captured video because the box has automatically removed it. Then I choose other output resolutions. Whatever resolution I choose, there is no black border. Now I make a test with Capture Box without auto black border removal function. We can see that there is black border. Next, I'm going to try the auto phase correction function. This function makes the letters clearer in the captured image after they have been zoomed in. I'm going to use a video capture box with auto phase correction function turned off and all in one box PNP to demonstrate separately. The left one is a screenshot of video captured by a video capture box with auto phase correction functions turned off. The edge of the letters on the screen is rather obscure. The right one is a screenshot of video captured by all in one box PNP. The edge is very sharp and the words are legible. The remarkable improvement of this box is that it can directly process video with color space being YUV. Without this function, the video capture device has to convert the YUV source into RGB in order to process it. However, color loss will be caused during conversion. This box avoids the conversion, so the color of the captured video is very accurate. Let me show you the results of the two analytical tests using oscilloscope. The first one is done with the old box. We can see that there is difference between the input video source and the video captured by the box. Next, let's see how the new box works. There is nearly no difference between the video source and the captured video. XI100X USB Pro PNP supports four types of output of color space, which can be chosen in video capture pin tab in AMCAP, including YUY2, NV12, 
I-420, and RGB-24. Users can choose this needed output color space by modifying the SDK. As for interlaced video source, XI100 XUSB Pro PNP can detect and deinterlace automatically. You can capture deinterlaced video without choosing deinterlacing mode manually. There are two deinterlacing modes, line filtering and single field deinterlacing. The box will choose the appropriate mode automatically. The video on the top is captured by some other device without deinterlacing function, and the video below is captured by all-in-one box PNP. This all-in-one box greatly improved the image. Another function of the PNP which impresses me is that it can process video with zero CPU usage. How does Majewell manage that? In fact, this is because of the powerful FPGA they use. All video processing, including color adjustment, up and down scaling, automatic deinterlacing and color space conversion are done by FPGA, which will not cause extra CPU usage. Of course, to preview the captured video with software will cause some CPU usage. Let me make a comparison. This video source is at 720p 60Hz. The capture device I am using is made by another manufacturer. Now I use downscaling function. The window on the right shows the current CPU usage. Then I start to capture. We can see the CPU usage greatly increased. What about Magewell capture box? I also did downscaling and start to capture. We can see the CPU usage is much less than that of other capture device. To conclude, the key features of Magewell All-in-One Video Capture Box PNP are compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X, driverless and easy to use, and low CPU usage when it is working. Nowadays, Majewell has resellers all over the world as well as an online reseller on Amazon in North America. It is very convenient for you to buy their products. For more information, please visit their official websites or email them directly.